guys welcome back to the channel we have an exciting match today Belisarius Cole is back out and he's taking on some Gene Steeler cult but Phil's not playing the Gene Steeler cult I am and he's playing Belisarius Cole that was too beautiful to kill well we'll see we'll see so this is the debut of the Gene Steeler cult I am going to get things wrong this is tournament practice for me because I have no idea what these guys do hardly so as we go through Phil's going to probably make recommendations about what to do even though it may be to your detriment because this is about me learning and obviously they're quite a new army a lot of you, uh, the viewers may be a bit unfamiliar with the rules for them uh, I don't think there's that many battle reports flying around with them in there's not loads that are competitive I'll definitely put it that way fair enough um, yeah so hopefully this gives you a bit of an insight into my Gene Steeler cult. It's mainly my models, but we filled it out a little bit with some of Phil's because I've only got 1500 painted. Mm. Um, but Tom is a bit more than that, so obviously we're kind of amalgamating the models. But it's a devil. Please check out the video for that. If I haven't done it, if I have done it, please go back and look. If I haven't done it, keep watching because it will be, yeah. Yeah. Excuse my illness. Um... <coughs> This morning, I uh, was hunting down some 17-year-old guardsmen and with my Gene Stiller cult friends. Uh, I bit one of them and he had an illness and I've caught something from him. So yeah, um... Coffee. Yeah. Coffee McCoff... Cough... Cough... Yeah. Coffee McCoff Cough. Yeah. And uh, the illness is quite rare. It's called biomass infection. <laughs> um, but yeah, the hive man will protect me, hopefully. And with that, let's have a quick look through the armies. Right, so here we go, folks. This is 1850 of Gene Steeler Cult, and there is a hell of a lot of it. I didn't realise I was going to get so many points, or so many models for the points, rather. Uh, I am running a cult insurrection detachment, so the hq choice the command choice which is called what lord of the cult lord of the cult is this magos he has a crouchling uh which gives him an extra psychic power so we've got uh summoning which is fantastic mental onslaught psionic blast and mass hypnosis but so, don't get confused it just gives him an extra psychic power not level yep yeah, so he's still in mastery level two but he knows four powers but can only cast two of them yeah yeah so that's all right um, for the core, we are running a neophyte cavalcade. So we've got 10 neophytes here with shotguns, two grenade launchers, one seismic cannon in there. Uh, and then we've got the same again here, but these have las guns. Of course, both in chimera with multi las, las gun arrays, and heavy bolters. We've also got two scout sentinels, even though these are armored, they will be scout sentinels, both with missile launchers. And then, of course, we've got a single Lehman Russ with the Exterminator Cannon, the Armour Bane one. Vanquisher, thank you. Yeah. Ali is going to kill me for getting that wrong. Uh, a Laz Cannon and two Sponson Multi Melters. We've then got a First Curse, which is actually also a command one. Yeah. Uh, we've got the Patriarch here, whose sighted powers from Biomancy are Smite, Iron Arm, and Enfeeble. That is fantastic between the two of them. Because you've got some toughness five things which I can then double out mm -hmm. if I get them off. Um, yeah, his warlord trait gives his unit move through cover uh, and doesn't suffer the initiative penalty when charging through terrain, which is great considering he's joining these gene stealers. Uh, I did roll up their uh, mutations. Thankfully, I didn't get flesh hooks, which would have been the same thing. I actually rolled a five, which gives everything preferred enemy. Something that's really nice about this formation is that the whole roll on the table is all the old upgrades you could get all the way back in the soft pack decks. The which fifth is, edition one. Yeah. Yeah, that, that. Which is pretty cool. It's a really nice little yeah. throwback, plus they've got five of them, but. Yeah, which is pretty cool as well. <laughs> yeah. And then coming back for the auxiliary, we have a pretty close to maxed out. Um, Subterranean Uprising. Woo! Yeah. So we've got four units of Acolytes. Uh, there's three with Rock Saws and one with a Rock Cutter. Every unit has an Icon. Every leader has a Bone Sword and Lash Whip. 
So to, to say what that does, Icon is plus one weapon skill. Mm -hmm. Now for 10 points making the weapon skill 5, I, I always say is really good because most things are weapon skill 4. Yep. Um, the leader being initiative 7 because of the whip, and then an AP3 sword and 6 is instant death is just cool. And then having that armor band so you can deal with vehicles better, it just makes them a nice rounded troops choice. Plus everything is rendered, yeah. which the, is great. The rock cutter has snip, so if anything suffers uh, a wound, uh, they have to do a tougher test and be removed from play. Which is... Combined with Enfeeble. With the combined with Enfeeble is really yeah is difficult. And then we've got two units of Metamorphs uh, and the Primus. Pri is it Primus? Yeah. Well, hey, I'm getting there. So this unit has five whips. Uh, the leader has a Bone Sword. There is an icon in there. And they all have Flamers. Phil says not to use the Flamers because they're costly. Yeah. And I do agree. I do agree. But I want to try them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we've got a second unit here, which is kitted out exactly the same way, apart from there's two claws in there instead. Mm. So that, just remembering what I've got here is a, a lot. But catch your breath, catch your breath. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to remember the sight powers, I've got to remember the 12 inch bubbles from the characters, I've got to remember the formations rules, I've got to remember the cult insurrection rules, <laughs> which gives D6 models back when they return from the shadows. Yeah, and then there's... You know, and then you've got all your deployment phase is going to be the longest phase of yeah. any army because they're all deploying vehicle ambush during infiltration phase. So it's yeah, the only thing that I physically deploy is I think him. Does he have to just go down? Well, you could just go kill ambush. In all honesty, and I would recommend it because you have the option of getting closer mm. and things like that. But in this case, it's not too much of a bother. But things like mind control. Can be very useful. Yeah, one thing to point out as well, because I'm running the cult insurrection, everything that has infiltrate, which is everything apart from these, yeah, has shrouded on turn one. That is insane. These are off the board on turn one anyway, so that makes no difference to us, because they are scout sentinels. They have infiltrate, which means they have shrouded. Yeah. So the chimeras <laughs> and the tank don't get it either, and they're off the board anyway. So. But everything else does. That is nuts. Right, uh, let's take a look at... Oh, we also get plus one our reserves, and then the opponents get minus one of theirs. Which I need to remember. So, yeah, because I've got reserves, like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> so ho hopefully, uh, yeah, that's not... Yeah, let's go have a look at Phil's forces. So this is my force. I call it Imperium because it's a mishmash of a lot of things. So first thing, we've got Death Watch. So we have an allied detachment of Death Watch with a Librarian, Marcy level two. He rolled on... <clears throat> Fulgamation, he got Electro Surge, which is an 18 inch strength 5 AP4 Assault 6. He got Electro Shield, which is a 3 plus invul. And then he got Magnet Tokinesis, uh, which means he could just slingshot a unit uh, 18 inches away, uh, which is pretty good, especially good for movement. Then we got a five man veteran squad. It's a Watch Sergeant with a Xenophase Sword and Storm Shield, two shotguns, and two frag cannons. And they have a dedicated transport of a drop pod with a storm bolter. Then we have the Corvus Black Star with assault cannons, Infernum Halo array, and then I've swatched the storm strike missiles for the rocket launcher. Um, and then moving on to our first uh, cult formation, we've got Cole, who is my warlord for today, and a Hordia Requisitioner. So these guys may look like destroyers, but they are just going to be breaches with torsion cannons for a day and then we've got the breaches with arc rifles what does holy requisitioner do well uh call could deep strike within they all get deep strike call deep strikes if he uh, deep strikes with close to objective he doesn't scatter if these deep strike uh, within six inches of call they don't scatter i think it's don't scatter or it's just 1d6 i'll have to check that out but then we have another formation which is Skitari. this is the iron striders cavalier so we've got a iron strider with auto cannons and two Dragoons, all base. What happens here is they get outflank and acute sensors. They pick an enemy character, which is most likely going to be the Primus, and they get to reroll all to wound rolls against him. And then they uh, get to roll for their reserves on turn one, uh, and they all roll for with one dice. And then we have the Star Collecting one, which is a Dominus, just kitted out as a standard. 10 Vanguard with uh, Omni Specs and 3 Plasmas. And then the Neutron Laser and Cognus Stubber um, Onega. So what they do is, it with the Dominus picks a unit within 18 inches of line of sight. And then everything gets to reroll the hit in that formation. I bet 
you can't name the formation. Skitari Dominus Manipal. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, I want to say it's that. <laughs> then we have an allied of guard with a commissar. Some veterans, which you know are mixed and matched, because the cult has infiltrated. And yeah. then we got a, a, a wyvern squadron of two wyverns. Can we give a nice little shout out to the uh, two little guardsmen that are left? You may recognise them. Ali! <laughs> <laughs> Ally in with, with, with cult. Yeah, so this should be interesting. I've never used Call, never used the Holy Requisitioner, never used Iron Cannon Straight, never used these, never used Death Watch. Only things I have used is the guard, so. This is actually new for me as well, um, and I'm sort of stubbing myself in the foot because I'm helping Harry kill me fast as well. So, and if we count, we have one unit, two unit, because this guy's joining them so in, in the drop pod, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units in reserve. And then he's minus them by one to make it a four plus reserve roll. Um, my water trait, because it's cold, I get to reroll my feeling of pains. So yeah, let's get to deployment. Right, so normally at this point in the video I would show you where everything is deployed, but all of this is going by cult ambush. Uh, the two Chimera and the Lehman Russ are in outflank reserve. Phil is gonna talk through each of the rolls as I roll them to explain what is what. So 2d6, because they're in the formation. That is right. So their best is four. Set is, up the ambushing unit anywhere on the table that is more than six inches from enemy model, or you could do that nine inches if they're within line of sight. So you want the four. Six inches, no matter which they're in line of sight. Can they charge, or do they have to get the six to they charge? They have to get the six to charge. Right, okay. So the ones back here, you get three, three because D6 of the primers. Ones. They get the five. Oh, can you not reroll doubles? No. Ah. So they get the five so they can shoot as soon as they are infiltrated, because they shoot in that phase that they get it. Right. And then they could shoot again, or run again. Which is handy with the flamers. Which is handy with the... Which it, yeah, yeah. Very, very handy with, <laughs> with, my, with my armor. <laughs> so now this it's guy? 1d6 for this guy. He, oh! Of course, he gets the charge when he doesn't need it. <laughs> but that does come in handy because that's within three inches now. Mm -hmm. So he's pretty much got... Can deploy next to anywhere on the board. Right. The guys at the back. 2d6. So they can double shoot. If this is not going well, you need more sixes. Well... These ones, 2d6. Okay, so they got the four, that's within six inches. These ones, five, they can get the double shoot. And then these ones are 2d6 as well. And they get the double shoot. Now, don't look at this and think, oh gosh, because you've got four units firing all their pistols twice. You've got one unit that can go anywhere on the board, two of the units can go anywhere on the board, and you want to deploy them in terrain so they've got that two up cover survivability to go into turn two, which will be helpful. These two... Double tapping with the pistols isn't bad either. No. Especially no. against Terminators and stuff, you probably kill one or two Terminators. Yeah. So you can still get lucky. But anyway, these guys, one roll each. Yeah, one so roll each. One, two. That is really good for both. They get a double shoot. And with, the missiles. With launches. missiles. Yeah. That's great. That could pop a couple of uh, tanks right there. These yeah. guys, they just get one. Come on, you know I need if, it. If this is a six, you'll do like a huge multi charge and it'll be four. four. So, you didn't get any charges on the first turn, but you've got a lot of things shooting mm -hmm. before the game starts. Yep. Which is going to be a pain. So. Right, let's get all these deployed. Yeah. Right, guys. So, here we go after deployment. It's, I think it's taken us longer to deploy than it's probably going to take to do the entire turn. Um, the mission that we're playing today when Phil stops dying is Crusade, where you draw three objective cards. We're just playing it nice and simple. Uh... Crusade, cleanse and control. Uh, so we've got objective marker one, number three, and number five. Uh, we've got number four here. I think it's number three in there. And one is, I think it's back there. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, uh, <coughs> this guy's infiltrated here onto this. And he can shoot or double tap. These guys can double tap. These guys can double tap and they have flamers. <clears throat> These guys can't do anything but they're in cover. Yeah, Phil can kind of see them. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, he is marking the objective and can double tap. They can double tap, but I had no way to put them, so I've just put them back there. 
to pull them. Now, this is where it's interesting though, Phil. So the rules are, as, as soon as you place them, you can make an additional shooting attack. Yeah. So, in the deployment phase, infiltration phase, we have shooting. We do. And I'm going to do this, it makes no difference because I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, is both of those sentinels are going to shoot at these. Either way, you've got a fork cover because you've got camo net and, and fiber for intervening models. It's not night fighting. So, two crack missiles hitting on fours because I'm BS3. Two to glance. Are they only for an armor 10? I believe so. We'll check. Either way, that's, that's a, a pen. pen. That's so, a pen. Fork cover. Uh oh. I, so you're AP3, but I am open topped. Okay, so that stops one from shooting. But, you know what? We should D2 it because it'd be, I said it made no difference, but it actually oh, yeah, does. So, let's see which one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So it's this one. So this one actually loses all four blasts because it's not firing now. Which is brilliant because now I'm tempted to leave some guys on the board depending mm. on how the rest of my shooting phase goes. So. Four of these guys can see these with auto pistols? Yeah, just normal pistols. Hitting on fours. One hit? No wind. Nope, that's not so good. That's up. Yes. These guys have uh, auto pistols. Well, you might want to do your flamers first because you might hit more flamers. Yes, flamers. thank you. So, so first of all, we are using this very nice template. Phil? For Pyro Call! I really want one, so I'm going to be putting an order in soon to get them. It, and f Phil's upset because I won't give him them. Because it looks like, like acid. Like, do you know the acid spray on the, um, on that, what's it called? Hand flavors. Yeah. 15 hits. Right, so wounding on fours because it's strength three, toughness three. So that gives Phil seven wounds. Five up armor save. Oh God. <gasps> that's five dead. So that's going to be uh, one, two, three. For and then equal distance, so I'll just say it there. Cool. But, so these don't cause morale checks, but they do cause pinning. But, I've also got two more shots, because the Primus has yeah. a needle pistol. Yeah, so that hits better. That hits? So it hits. Poison? Two plus poison. Uh, that's an Alcatra. And then the other guy, that's an Alcatra. Because he's the closest. Ah. And, yay! I'm alive. And then you've got the normal... Is, is it not AP5? We'll check. we'll check. We will. But anyway, not auto pistol. Hits. Doesn't mm -hmm. wound. So we'll check that one. Right, so it's AP6, so it doesn't kill another guy. These guys, however, are going to go for these because I do need to try and pin them. Yeah. I would probably go for this unit, but, you know, killing two or three more guys isn't worth it. They need a pin and check anyway, but I'm going to go for them. So a hit on fours. Yep, so there's three hits. A wound on fours. Threes. Am I strength four? I'm toughness three, then you're strength four. Oh, well, there we go. I'm sure you are. That was two wounds. Field one. Field no pin. pin. It's one dead. That causes me a pin and check. It does. So, that is everything for deployment. So, Phil, pin and check on these two. So, the pin and check on the Skitari. Leadership nine for the Dominus. Yeah, Top. that's fine. I would have said it's fine. Well, yeah, you're still fine. And then these guys with a commissar, which it's is a, a priest. A lord commissar. So a lord it's got, commissar. A, got a better one, which is fine. Fair enough. So, uh, now DCs. Now my season on the initiative. Oh, oh, I saw the six nearly. That was so, uh, so close. Right, let's move into Gene Steeler Cult turn one after like an hour of playing. <laughs> Right, so Gene Steeler Cult Turn 1, I drew Secure Objective 3, Secure Objective 5, and Secure Objective 6. Right, so those flamers got a 6 inch move, so they are going to be torching some guys down here. And then these auto pistol guys move forward uh, 5 inches. These guys stay where they are to secure me that objective. The plan is to try and kill these guys and at least a couple of those uh, Skitari to try and score me that objective. These guys are going to secure me objective 6. Um, I haven't moved them because they've got shrouded whilst they're in there. And the Patriarch can conveniently see those Skitari. So I'm going to look to enfeeble them, which means the auto pistols will be d damaging uh, on one point better. Uh, I've pulled the Metamorph, not the Acolytes, the Metamorphs, and the Acolytes from here because I don't need them in the backfield. 
and I'd far rather have them coming out after fill stuff and potentially charging them because I know he's got a drop pod coming in uh, and potentially them iron striders as well. So straight in the cytic phase, Phil is recommending that I start summoning with this guy. Always want to use summoning because you get every single point on a unit for free. So I've got four points base plus d6. Five. So I only get my five because my librarian is not on the board yet. Right. And feeble is only war charge one, so I'm only going to keep two points to one side for that. Right. So your summoning could even be two or three. Yeah, I'm going to have... three is the bigger one to oh, get bigger units. I'm going to have seven dice, but getting three four pluses is going to be, be hard. Because that's only... You could get it in I've there. Got, I've got a halfy half oh, chance. You could get in there. Do you... Well, what unit do you want first? What can I summon? So with the two, you can either get five acolytes, five metamorphs, or ten neophytes. Right. With the three, you can either get ten acolytes, ten metamorphs, twenty neophytes, eight gene stealers, or four arborants. And where do I have to place them? Within 24 inches of him, and they come in via cult ambush. So you could roll a six. Does it have to be within line of sight of him? No, it's just within 24. Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll double check that, yeah. but if I can do that, that I'm going to like... Yeah, imagine if you just summon eight gene stealers right here. You know? Yeah, I'll be sickening. So, yeah, I would totally go for summoning. How many you get off? Oh, four and a door peril! So, I've got five dice, that's a very tricky... I need, force it. I need to stop it. No. Nope. Disappointing. Disappointing. So <laughs> they're, they're coming via cult ambush. So um, you your dice for cult ambush? Well, what are I, you bringing on first? I could do gene stealers. Arborants, neophytes, acolytes, metamorphs. I feel like the neophytes are probably the best because I need weight of fire at the minute. I think gene stealers might be better. I know, but then I have to be able to charge. Oh yeah, you, might, you need to get your six, yeah. I need to kill it, it, it's, uh, You have to bring on 20 neophytes. And you can have whatever, like, as much as you want in them. As much as you want in them. Uh, um, How many near? You've got 20 near fights painted, yeah? No. With I'm about 10. No, you've got 20. Oh, because you're using them. Yeah, because I'm using them. Oh. For my ve veterans right <laughs> Um. I've got 10 acolytes. You could give them all flames. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. And roll your clan bush. Here comes the one. Three. three. So that's like within nine inches, uh, with in line of sight, six inches out of line of sight. Which is useless because then I still can't flare. So you might as well just put them somewhere to hide and then put them in a cut ambush. Yeah. Join the shadows next time. Right, so next psychic power is Enfeeble from the Patriarch onto these guys. Does the Dominus have Adamantium Will? You need to check. I will check. But you've got no dice, so it makes no difference. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks for giving me false hope. And I get it on two. Yeah. So minus one toughness to those guys. Yep. Which is great because now I'm going to go into shooting. Toughness two. Right, so flame is there. Three of them are hitting three guys. One of them is hitting four. This is obviously all going on these guys because I want to kill them to get them off their objective. So wounding on fours. That's not shabby. Phil, you've got a fair few saves to make there, mate. Two, four, six, eight saves. So look out, sir. Oh, oh. Only past one. Or is he independent? He's independent. Oh, but still. So, saves on him? So, yeah, I'll have to do the... He's got three wounds, so I'll have to do these three times. He's just got same save, so five up. So, last one. So, he's lost two. He's down on one. Yep. And then these ones... One dies. Wow. Uh, and I've got an auto pistol, which misses. And then I have... Oh, hang on. What's his buff within 12 inches? The Primus? Hatred. But that's only in combat. Yeah. Ah. And then a needle pistol from him, which Doesn't also hit. misses. That's not what I wanted. Because I need to kill one more to cause a morale check. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Which means I'm not going to be able to score that objective. Ooh. I might be able to. Let's go for these five guys here with the auto pistols at the not neophytes. <laughs> Two hits. The veterans don't blow their cover. One wound. Right, so these guys are going to shoot four auto pistols at the Skitari. And I hit once, but now I wound on threes. Yep. Of course. <coughs> yeah. So next up, I'm going to shoot all of these guys. 
all ten of them at your Skatari. I need to kill some of them because the weight of dice from them will kill me. Yay! That's a few hits. If only you were Tesla. Or radium carbine. Yeah! Two, four, six. Four, six up. Um, it will have to be three at a time before it reaches the dumbest. Dumb. Yep, so four, six up. I need those sixes now. So there's one dead. Yep, three more. Or two more. Uh, the four passed. Oh. Good. But either way, that was a fail, fail, no pain. So one more, that's two dead. Yep. So that's three dead. Alpha's gone. And so is the only specs. <sighs> that's not enough. I needed to kill more. I really, really needed to kill it more. It is a morale check, though. It is. <coughs> but now it's a case of what do I do? I've got two missile launchers, or do I go for crack missiles to try and stop these shooting, or do I go for frag to inflict as much damage as I can? I think that one should do crack first and see if you can stop that from shooting. Because let's, that's going to do the most damage. Let's to you go for it then. Oh. Oh, it's going to hurt. The other guy is going to have to go for a frag. So, may I have... It's a small blast. Where's it is. Small blast? Right over the other side. Let's grab so that. So, frag missile from the... Uh, what's it called? Sentinel? Down there. Direct hit gets me three. Uh, so, that is three inches. Might clip one still. Oh, where's the tape measure? Uh, uh, probably just good. Here it comes. Here comes the tape measure. No. No. Misses. Ah. Sad times. Right, this is now where it's going to hurt me because I really, really was expecting to do a bit more. But you've got two morale checks to make. Yep, so these guys. <laughs> it's because they are cult and they're like, oh, we don't need to run from our brothers. Then these guys. Oh, just. Just. So he's yeah. leadership nine. So yeah. Right, at the end of my turn, I do score objective marker 6. I don't score objective marker 5. Uh, and objective marker 3, where's 3? That one is 3. So I score 2 points, and I don't get first blood. So, so close. Turn one, fill his drew, secure objective three, Kingslayer, and Hungry for Glory issue a challenge. Really bad cards. Right, so, mission tactics for the Death Watch, he's gone for HQ. That's reroll ones. Reroll ones to hit, yeah. Uh, for Doctrine Imperatives, he's gone for plus one ballistic skill. And for Canticles, he's gone for Stubborn, because... I've only got one unit, and if I get into combat, and these... Obviously, he's going to tear up a lot of my dudes. I don't want to be, like, struggling for a leadership check. Yeah. So, so reserve rolls, because you can run... My uh, drop pod comes in, but my iron strike cavaliers. Four? Four, because of my... Ah! Oh! No! Right, so drop pod is coming. Right, so this horrible, nastiness drop pod of Death Watch. Oh, no. Oh. What? At least it's away from the geniuses. I mean, I, I know I'm going to kind of lose him. Right. You, you can easily just go... Alright. Or you, you can still go for them. Where are you going? Um, I think I'm going to pop it so that the librarian pops here. And that the other guys pop here. So psychic him, shoot him. Yeah. Cool. Right, so whilst Phil is dying, he has done his movement. And the Death Watch guy... Oh no, the shotgun's in there. I'll just realise. That's a lot of templates going in at them. Where's the two plus cover save now, huh? Got five bin one. Yeah, that's all you've got. Yeah. Me six? Oh, the second wait, wait. oh, the movement. Oh, movement God. phase. So, yeah, uh, those guys have moved to within an inch. Why? Rapid fire. Uh, okay. And I have my balls to the wall. Like, I seriously, I'm just. They're just there to die now. These are just pushed forward. They're just the more survivable. I have the objective. Mm -hmm. These guys have just pushed forward and they picked uh, your 10 man unit for their twin link. Nice. That, they're going to die. Yep. I don't mind because they were free. Yeah. However, sighted phase. You're going to try and do some sighted shenanigans on this guy, aren't you? Yeah, because I can still see him. So. 
Three. Three. So I get five in total. Can I please have uh, like nine? No, seven. Jeez. Seven dice. Okay, right, so what, what are we going for here? Um, we're going for Electra Surge. Right. Under this guy. Right. Which is strength five, eight, before assault six. Uh huh. That's a walk charge one, and I'm throwing 3d6 into it. You need one five up. How many dice did you use there? Three. Of? Five. So I've got six dice hitting on threes. We roll on ones because you are HQ. Alright, so the two misses, but the one gets a re-roll. And strength five eight four, your tip is three. Three wounds. Right. Do I have an invon? Um, I don't know whether your armor save will save you, but I do say you're obscured, so you will get your two up save. And I'm still not shrouded? Yeah. So you get your two up save. How many wounds? Three. <gasps> oh, I, I dropped did a wound. wound. I think you have three wounds. We'll double check that. Yeah. But and then my last two dice is going on to Magnet Nectokinesis. Right. And this squad. And what does that and do? This squad. It launches them 18 inches. Oh! Can he do it on his own squad? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's blessing that targets a single unit. Okay. We'll charge two. Nah, no, I didn't get it. Oh, I should have chucked all my dice into that one, but never mind. Well, the plan was there was to move these here. Uh huh. So I'll get better flame. Fair enough. Right, so with the frag cannons alone, Phil has 26 Six. hits. Wounded on twos. <gasps> There's so many ones there, that is one, brilliant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. So in total, that's. Wait. Can you keep the rounds separate? One, so you want two, me to take all three, these ones four, first? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I've got 15 dice. 13 normal ones. So 5 ups. Yep. So this is. Well, armor saving vulnerable makes no difference. 2, oh, two 4, 6, 8. 10 gene stealers. Oh, 9, nine. gene stealers die. 3, 5 up in ones. Was it, was it 4? It's rounds. Four, 4 rounds. So three, three more, more die. So Twelve die in total. Oh, that's not good. Before the shotguns. Yeah, but now you're out of range. Well, it's if I use the flame. Hmm. So next up, the shotguns. It's the cryptic clear around. Uh, salt two, AP dash, strength four, shred. So it hit. And they all hit. And then four's the wound with shred. You got one two occlusive. And then the um. The lady will fire his dragon fire bolt, which is a strength four AP five pistol ignores killer. To hit, a hit, to wound, I don't wound. So that's them. The storm bolt can't see the magus unfortunately, so he will fire into the the gene stealers as well. Yep. Hits twice, wounds once. So Phil's being very bold. That wyvern's gone where? Right here, so I clipped that unit as well. Cool. So... Woo! Direct hit. So that just gets two on the metamorph and one on the acolyte. Yep. And then the second one. I don't know. I'm going to re-roll it. Yep, so it just flips this way. So it goes about this. One? Yep. And then the third one. Um, that would flip and get one. Yeah, I'll keep that. And then the next one. I'm gonna re-roll. It flips this way. So for one, so that's four and four. Yep. That's not bad. Strength yep. four though? Yep, so I went on threes with shred and ignores cover. With shred. There's four wounds and your normal armor save. Which squad was that one on though? This squad. We'll start with the closest. So it's five ones. up. Five ups. So three die, which would be the three normal ones. Closest. Barrage. Oh yeah, it is. So beat him. So you lost your buzz sword, which is upsetting, but you still keep your bone sword. And then these guys. So therefore, we're shred. Nope. So there's three normal arm saves. Three. Uh, do I automatically pass look out sir because of Not him? Not for him. He doesn't have it. Right. So it's him first. So one at a time. So he dies. Do you want to look out sir? Then I'll look out sir. Which I do onto the other guy, which fails. So that's them two down. Losing two flamers, but I'd rather have a bone sword. 
and which then, I'm sure you'll probably agree. Then I'll snap fire the two heavy bolters into the same squad. Oh god. Wow. <gasps> and then um twos. There's three wounds. BG get your two of cover. Three wounds. Yeah. One two four. Oh! The closest to the unit to them. <sighs> it's two your normal ones, so at least you two your character and them. Yeah, but that's, right. that's still not what I want. And then you can return to the showers next... Showers? Yeah, or you can return to the showers instead of the shadows. Are you trying to see our smell? You can return to the shadows and bring back D6 units. D6 models that you lost, so it's... Uh, don't they need a morale check, though? Yes, but it's not the end of the turn, because I've still got these to fire. Oh. Oh, so, crap. Six. Please tell... Has he got two or three wounds? He's got three. Okay. He can tank them if you want them. So, I've got three rapid firing and then his pistol. And then we do have fours. That's two wounds. What's his armor save? Four, I believe. Well, there we go. All right, next. Mm-hmm. Um, is this guy? He's gonna. Well, actually, no. I'm gonna start with these guys first. Um, which, which guys? Which guys? So these guys, the Vanguard and these. Yep. So they have plus one blitz skill, so they're hitting on twos, re-rolling. Yep. Oh, preferred. Oh, it's not really preferred enemy, but. And they all hit. Is that the plasma or the other guys? Plasmas. Okay. And then twos. Seven wounds. Right, so I'm going to have to do these what? One, two, three first at five up? Well, it's plasma. Oh, yeah, because I was shrouded. Cover. Yeah. So. One, two. Oh, do they have shrouded? No, they don't because you summoned them. Right, so how many wounds with, with the plasma? Uh, that is seven. So one, two, three, four, and then three more. Yeah. Three more die. That's not good, but it's not bad. And then the carbines. Yep. So they all hit. And then two wounds, which is fours, because I believe it's strength three. Yep. Sixes are two wounds. So, yeah. Nine. Wow. Nine? Nine? Six. Yeah. Because I feel two and sixes are two wounds. Five up? Yep. Yeah, look at I'm alive. You almost had me there. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. Is that first blood? That is first blood, my friend. That is all ten of them. Just totally gone. Dominus never even got a shoot as well. <clears throat> so now the Onega will fire at these. Of course he will. Yeah, so he's with skill five. Yep. And he's on target, so it's just going to be four. Um, you will get your two of cover though, but these are two to wound. Four two of covers. One dies. And then the stubbers. And two wound. No wounds. Strength three, right? Stubbers are strength four, mate. Oh, so two wounds. Yep. And you're fine. Cool. That is all my shooting. That's not bad. Uh, right, so these guys are within 12 of the Patriarch, which means they are fearless. Phil does score first blood, and he's discarded issue a challenge. Yeah. So he hasn't hit back that hard other than them yet. But yeah. Let's see what happens in Gene Silicult. Turn So, Gene to the Cult, turn two. I've got these guys coming on from ongoing reserves, so we'd need to roll up for them. But I do have reserves over the Neophyte Cavalcade to come on. And I've drew Objective Marker 1, Secure 5, and Claim the Rightful Dominion, which basically means I have to steal an objective that Phil controlled, which is Objective 5. So, first of all, though, we have two Neophyte units in Chimeras. One of them uh, has shotguns on a 2+. Comes on, and the others with Laz guns is on, and the Lehman Russ is on. So, shotgunners one, two, three, four, five, six. I choose five, six. I get to choose the Laz guns that side, Lehman Russ. I want that side, <sighs> wrong side, wrong side. Do I have the range still? 
Maybe. We'll right, see. so cult ambush for these guys. The metamorphs are. I roll two dice on each of these, don't I? Yeah. Six! Oh no. Five. Double tap? Nah, that's okay. And then these ones. Double. Five. It's so close. But this, this, my friend. So that actually means you can be put within three inches of any enemy model. And you can charge this turn. Mm -hmm. Right, so the slight plan I have is kind of annihilation with these guys. So these two are going to double tap um, when they arrive, which I'm going to do in a few moments. I've just realised we've done it slightly out of sync. They need to shoot before the movement phase, but you know it's not going to have affected me movement uh, at all. So we'll do that in a second, but for the rest of the movement, these guys got a six inch move through cover. Phil Rettens, I maybe should have pulled them back. I don't know because I need to get rid of this squad. Them frag cannons are horrendous. So I'm hoping, get them in, kill them, get them back into cover, pull out next turn maybe, and then come back turn four with a few extra to then anticipate the rest of the damage. Over here, these guys have left forward and they're going to be looking to charge in at the Wyverns. However, the Chimera is going to be shooting out uh, a seismic cannon, a grenade launcher, snap fire the heavy bolter and the multi lars into the side arc of the Wyverns and then the multi lars shoot those couple of guys there. These guys have arrived via cool ambush and these can charge but they are going to get to shoot the flamers so the plan is basically shoot as much of these vanguard as possible and then charge and try and take out the dominus. Meanwhile, the unit that was there has moved sideways. There's a rock saw and a lot of rending claws in there. And we reckon we can take on the Onager. In addition to all that, though, we've still got the two Sentinels with the missile launchers at either side. And we also have the Lehman Russ at this side coming on. His Laz Cannon and Vanquisher. Exterminator. Vanquisher, you got it first time. Vanquisher, yay. Is going to basically hurtle down over the heads of the Acolytes. And smash into the side of that onager. Uh, this guy's just moved on. I'm gonna have a couple of shots with a multi las straight down the side. So basically, I'm trying to pin Phil into the center here with units coming from every side, whilst these couple of guys deal with this little threat here. So we've got a couple of shots to go from these guys at the beginning of the uh, oh. deployment kind of phase. Yeah. So. Ten shots. I'm just doing them both together. Oh, okay. That's perfectly statistical. Three wounds. Yeah. Um. So I would say he's the closest, then the librarian, then that one. Cool. Okay. Right. Psychic phase. Yeah. So I have four plus three. It's not quite as much as I wanted. So you've got seven and I've got five. You definitely want to summon. There's like no doubt in that. But first, I'm going to <clears throat> cast Enfeeble on them. All right. Get it on two. Do you want to stop it? Um... He's a 9 on 5 because of the Librarian. Wow! Fair enough. There's three ones though. Uh, and then summoning. Three or two? I've only got five dice. So I think I'd rather have... I'd rather definitely get an extra unit. Well, not definitely, but I'd rather have a better chance to get an extra unit. So I'm going to go for the Warp Charge 2. For five Acolytes or... Uh, what can I summon? Five acolytes? Five acolytes, five metamorphs, or ten neophytes. Probably want the acolytes. Just let's, let's go for the acolytes. Yeah. Wow, we should have gone for the three now. So you, you, got, you get five acolytes, what's that, six? What? what? I mean, what's that, ambush? Oh. It better not be a six. Two. Two. Oh, God. I think that's nine inches away, is it? I actually think that's our flank. Oh, that, that wouldn't be too bad, actually. Um, we'll work that out and then deploy them. So, yeah, that means that they get outplank. So, one, two, three, four, six. I get to choose. I'm going to place them up here but because I basically get to pick which squad. I'm going to give them two rock saws. Ah, uh, 
you an evil one, Mr. Grinch. Well, I learned from the best, well, Phil. Yeah, thanks. Right. Uh, so that is sight phase. Let's move on to shooting. So these ten pistols again, down at them. Does he have a shooting attack, by the way? He has a pistol. What's he got? I think mean, it's just a standard pistol. Well, we'll look at it in a second. But the, the wow, that's an awesome it hit, Phil. <laughs> you want to try that again? It, wow. Four wounds on these guys. So that Magus does have an auto pistol. So. Right. Well, we'll do that one in a second. But uh, four wounds on these guys. From which? From both of these. Okay. So one at a time for the shotgun. <gasps> shotgun goes down, and then I would. I will look out, sir. I just knocked over this. Yeah, one. I think it's the librarian next. You, yeah. could t you could take a wound on him. Um. Don't no. Shut up. You're trying to you're trying to trick me. I'm not. Look out, sir. Passed. Look out, sir. Passed. I'm good. Okay. And that's one shot there. Uh, then the Magus will shoot his bolt pit. His auto pistol. Uh, is he BS four? He doesn't, he doesn't wound either way. Never mind. Right, the rest of the shooting, let's go around the other side. Right, so the last gun arrays that my model actually doesn't have, but it actually does, it's going to shoot at them. Rapid fire. Uh, you can only fire one at one target, and the other one has to fire another one. Does it? Yeah. Oh. So. Still, that's six shots. It's still six shots, yeah. Uh, that's not bad. Yeah. Fours. Two wounds. Five up. I lose one. Boop. Right. Multi lads. Side arc of that. Yep. One hit. Four glance. That's a glance. Six of cover. Ooh. Heavy ball at snap firing. Nothing. Grenade launcher from inside. Hits. Doesn't do anything. No, because it's strength six. Now, seismic cannon? Yep. So, are you classed with moving? Yes. Which means I should oh, be. Oh, it doesn't matter, it's not salvo. How many inches are you within it? Uh, okay. 12. So, you get two shots at strength eight AP three, um, six of the AP one. One hit. And, and if it's a, okay. That's a four. So, that is a pen? Yep. Six up. No. So, what's the pen? You open top. Yep. One becomes a. Snap fire. That's not bad, but you've still got the other one. Yeah. Hopefully it won't be there. Right. I want to move around and shoot some stuff over here now. I like this. You're sentinel. You're sentinel. Oh. Crack missile. Yeah. At those bad boys. Yeah. Right, so next up is the flamers from these guys that arrived via cult ambush. How many hits, Phil? 20. Yeah, that's not good, is it? It's the score. I, I, I actually can't physically pick up 20 dice here, <laughs> despite having shovel hands. Ah! Yeah. You need to stop doing that. What was anyway, that? Anyway, wounding on fours. Right, so that's 11 wounds. Phil's going for four armor saves, four at a time. Oh no. Six up. Okay, so two die. Yep. So it's two at a time now. Six up. Oh, uh -huh. so one at a time now. Okay, so four die. Which is just enough to clear the path for these guys. Oh, and a single auto pistol from the other guy, from the leader. Oh, okay. Hits. Doesn't work. Oh, oh. I've got it, I've got it. This bad boy, crack missile. Hmm. Full cover though. Two to guards. Oh. Makes it. Next up we have G Lehman Ras, That's not cool. That's not cool, bro. I, I I noticed that you did deploy right in the middle of the table, though. Yeah. Right. So, Vanquish your battle can one shot. Hits on threes. Uh, fours actually. 
Oh yeah, it's on foot. And then the last cannon. Hits, and uh, needs a one advance. No, it doesn't. It's side armor of 12. Side armor 10. 12, 10, 10. This? Yeah. Oh, this? Oh, I thought you were saying that. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Pen. Six up. Five up. Oh. 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 Uh, um, that Chimera was in range of the Mowgli, is that right? It was, yes. Yeah. It's going as a uh, Wyvern. I was going for the Orange Armour. Oh, okay. I'm not within range of Six the... Six of the guns? No. no. That's it for shooting. Isn't not... Um, I do need to do two morale checks. Yes. So the Dominus one, they are stubborn, so they don't do the... Need a double one. Oh! That's not cool. No! Oh. That's our moth. That's definitely moth. Yeah. That's definitely the moth. And then the commissar's unit. He does have stubborn too, and he's fine. But that's not cool. Flamers for the win, and, and you were like, ah, no, no, no. Flamers are too expensive. Flamers are awesome. Yeah. Well, it's the fact they cost half the amount for a standard acolyte squad. So I'd rather have the more bodies than to pay for the flamers. Fair enough. But you did. Oh no, you didn't summon them. It's all good. But yeah. Yeah. So charges. Com combats. These guys, they're yep. automatically going to be in. Yep. Over here, with the Yonega. Yes, they need a charge. So I do have two stubbers that I can fire. So sixes. Uh, Cognus, so fives. Huh? Ooh. Oh, that's one dead. Oh, it's that really good positioning there, making sure his buzzsaw wasn't out in the open. I'm in. And he's definitely in. Um, any more? Yes, unfortunately. Here. Okay. So I have four D6. No. Fraghan's only one D6. They've been FAQ'd, unfortunately. Oh. And is it double or? No, it's oh. one D3 each. No. Oh! And these are strength six AP dash. So twos, six is red. So just three wounds. Three five up in runs. Three gene stealers. Um, my shotgun would definitely use the flame at Overwatch. Yep. Um, and he, he gets a force, that's two. And wounds on fours. Two wounds. Oh, crap. Four armor on. Patriarch. I don't know where that looks like, sir. Well, you're more likely to pass a four armor, and it's only two wounds. If you fail one, you go down. Four You've got three wounds. Four so. armor on him. Way, so he drops one wound to two. They ignore the initiative penalty and they. Well, well, I still got my bolt pistol. Go for it. Nope. And. Can you throw a crack in it? Yeah. Yeah. From the uh, sergeant, that was. Yeah. Because he didn't have any other weapons. So. Either way, they make it in. Yep. Right, so we're going to do this combat down here. Now, Phil has issued a challenge. I decided not to yeah. because the Xenophase sword's not good. For the Emperor! But I'm praying that I kill him before he kills me. Yeah. I'm praying. Three up interval. Don't say, don't fail me now. I was about to say, don't save me now. <laughs> so, uh, he has five attacks at initiative seven. Yeah. Uh, that's four attacks. He doesn't have a second pair of weapons, which I find odd. It is odd. And you can't pay for it. So, uh, wow. Oh, I've got preferred enemy. Yep. And I've only got it because they have it and it confers to him. Yeah. That's not bad. I've got <laughs> an extra hit. So now I'm, I'm strength seven because of Furious Charge. Wounding on twos, twos re-rolling because of Shred. Yeah, and six is a red one, but it doesn't matter. So that's three wounds. So I do have to take these one at a time. They're at IAP three, yeah. but you've got three up in one. <gasps> Kills him in one more. Yeah. Closest one is a frag cannon, unfortunately. Meanwhile, I then have 25 attacks. Th that's not good, fellas. But no, no, you need to do your familiars next. I do, sorry. So it's four attacks. So you got two of them now. Uh, weapon skill stupid, so they, they don't hit. They hit twice, and it's strength four AP dash, so force to wound. One more wound. Oh! Kills another one. No! Worth the five points. Definitely. Definitely worth it. Uh, here is three gene stealers out of the five that I have. So I hit you on threes. Yeah. Rerolling the ones. Just one one. So there was two twos there that don't hit. Gives you weapon skill six. I initiative six. Six is a rendon. But you are five strength five right now because of fewest charge. And there's four ones, which is the only misses. Preferred enemy. Oh, 
So that is just one field of wound, which is the two. <laughs> so out of curiosity, right? I mean, obviously, them wrens are gonna kill them. How many? Let me take the wrens first. I don't know whether he has an info. The librarian. Oh, I forgot about him. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have an info. So no, that would just kill him. But but then I, you had all them wounds, and I started two more genes to to swing. Yeah. So imagine. And, right. says five. And it, it matched if you had your 20 and you rolled on rage. Right, so uh, consolidation. Two inches. Back you, into cover. You killed my very favourite guys. Oh, I'm sorry. You got my favourite guy coming on next. Hopefully, anyway. <coughs> so, yeah, that's that's not bad. Uh, let's go over the other side, though, and do some combats over there now. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? I'm just going to, like... Yeah. I love how th there's a whole mess here, and there's a whole mess over there, but I've got units there. Yeah, like, the, the board control is definitely yours, and I'm trapped, type thing. Without a doubt. I, I'm really, really liking this, yeah. like, a lot. They're a good army, really good Right, army. so these guys, next, the leader has three attacks base, plus one for charge, plus one for two weapons. The other guy has four. Um, I hit on threes. Mm, that's not great. I need three sixes. But the important thing is a six counts as a pen. Yeah. The biggest thing you need is two sixes. Oh, there! Oh, three! Now you need to see whether they explode. Because of open top. Sixes, they explode. No. It's just a wreck. Wow. That was the best result you could have had, really. Wow. So not only do I now control objective amount of five, I actually steal it from you for D3 victory points. Yeah. But that's the best. We're not even finished with combat yet. <laughs> We've got these to do. Yeah. So the leader's gonna have five for charging, and the other guy's gonna have four. So hitting the orange one threes because you won't skill three. Yeah. Needing sixes to get me up to strength, up to armor ten. Yep. So there's two sixes. So that gets me to ten. I do one or two gets me to eleven. I do have six up info, right? You do, but I need to see which one, it, it, whether yeah. the count as pens or yeah. glances. So, one or two does nothing, three or four is a glance, five or six is a pen. So, so glance one pen. glance, one pen, so... Here comes the pen. Here comes the glance. Right, so what does the pen do? Yeah. Two... Step back. Yep, you get one attack back, mate. Oh, yeah. Hit. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh man. You got three attacks with the, the saw now? Because it's a specialist weapon? Three hits. And the armor bin, yeah? Yeah, armor bin, yeah. Is it so strength times two armor it's bin? It's strength times two, so you need a four to glance. So why don't you just roll them three? And if any twos, then you'll need a... So on this one, if you roll one now, you won't do anything. No, so three pens. Um, Six up in one. Yeah. Oh! Oh! That does kill me, but I could explode. And I do. So the range. Five inches, getting just them three guys? Yeah, just them three. So do you want to roll that on me? You can roll. You can roll. So I take two wounds, five up save, and I make both of them. All right. <laughs> Holy, I am in uh, sheer awe. At, at this moment, I have a commissar one wound, two veterans, and a drop pod on the table. If my reserves don't come in, this might actually be the last turn for me on turn two. Mate, this is insane. Yeah. Wow. So at the end of turn two, I actually score secure objective one, secure objective five, and D3. So I'm already on four points plus D3 for three points. Holy wowza. Yeah. Let's move on to Imperial turn uh, two. Gene Stealer, not Gene Stealer, cult. Imperial turn two. Phil's got secure objective three, Kingslayer, and reclaim lost knowledge, which is basically take back cards, take back objectives that I controlled. So, reserves, Phil. So, the all these striders on one roll, four up. Yes. And then the flyer. Oh. No, because of the minus one, because of cult insurrection. And then uh, Cole gets uh, a reroll. Yes. Just. Um, the chemicals I'm using is reroll ones to shoot, 
plus one weapon skill, and then the Arch Magus ones I will use plus one ballistic skill. So your ballistic skill four, re-rolling ones. Yeah. Very, very handy doing that hand in hand, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's uh, look at it. Phil's deployment. Right, so these guys outflanking the one with the, is it an auto cannon? Yeah, turning auto cannon. Cognus auto cannon. Has come on this side. This one is staying right back, why? I did have it here, because I wanted to charge these, but I didn't want them to get a charge me. Um, so I decided to move them back so it's a more unlikely charge from them. Mm -hmm. And since I can move nine, yeah. so I thought, yeah. Fair enough. And these three moved up to here, so they're in within that, so we can shoot them, hopefully kill them. If not, I'll Which charge Which would take them. that objective back for you. If not, I'll charge them. Fair enough. Come, so. But over this side. So. Cole was within six of an objective, which was objective three. Oddly enough, a card that I need to score. So he didn't scatter. Then these two units, the torsion cannon breaches and the arc rifle breaches, were within six inches of Cole, so they didn't scatter. And, and gee, arc rifle breaches point at a Lehman Russ. Yeah, and then I'm within this objective, so if I kill this, I'll take this one as well. Now, there's not really a third one I could take from someone. Um, just these two, but... I mean, that means give me two chances. Yeah. So, um, and I don't think I actually honor the other ones, are you? Um, I'm on that one in there. Good. No, no, I'm not yeah. on more than three so, away. I don't know whether I was going to be able to... Oh, this one. Ah. So maybe if I had him closer, and had him shooting from behind, I might kill him. I might get him. I'll tell but, you what, do you, do you want to move him? No, because that guy's going to kill your summoner. Ah. I don't know, wait, what's, what's your points? Points? Yeah, your points. Uh, th seven. Depends. Eight. Yeah, so the points, I'm not really going to be able to pull it back quickly. So hopefully I can just destroy as much as I can. Okay. So I am i don't have psychic phase anymore. Cause are, are you shooting with him at him then? Yeah, because he killed my Libby, so that was upsetting. I have instant death because I have strength 7. I've got one wound anyway. So I am turning. Yep, thank you for being cocked. Yep, that hits. And then twos. Two wounds. It'd be four. Do you want to go to ground? Does he have an in run? No. I will, I will go to ground. No, so he's dead. One. Ah, auto pistols. Three auto pistols. Pistols. Three pistols. Two wounds. <gasps> oh! One's alive. Uh, I'll look out, sir. Yeah. Oh, kills the... That is really nice because that doesn't mean you're going to try and insta-kill my... Uh, well, I've got one wound, but that would really hurt. Um... Storm Bolter. What's the range of the Storm Bolter? 24. Why? No! <laughs> What's that, 26? 25. Oh. Okay, I'll pop the Storm Bolter into the Patriarch unit. Okay. Okay, no mind. <laughs> um, I'll start with Cole. Yeah. So he so gets D3 shots. Yeah. Just the one. Into the Sentinel. That is cocked. Hits. Yeah. Do not a pen. Yeah, so five of cover. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nope. Nope. And then what does it do? Three comes a four, becomes a five. Weapon destroyed, so... It comes a six because it's open topped. It's a yeah. scout sentinel. So it's immobilized. But it's only lost one whole point. Which, ha! That sucks, man. Yep. Um, Which does mean I'm going to put all three torsion cannons into it. So the torsion cannons are hitting on threes, we roll on ones. Yep. Oh, of course I'll be at two. Strength 8. Strength 8, so 2s. 5 ups. Oh, so close. So, it would do D3, um, but whole points, but it's also AP1, so we just need to see whether it blows up and it doesn't. No, so... It goes to a 6, so... That's, that's just done, that's just a wreck, and I do have that objective. I'm going to remove it anyway. And then I've got my 3 arc rifles, so it's 6 shots. At the Lehman Russ. At the Lehman Russ. Lehman Russ is going to go to ground. <laughs> Alright. And they do re-roll the 1s, but not that 2. Oh. That's fours, and I need two ones here. Called it! Oh my word! I hate here why. I hate here why. I wish I was... I'm a dark elder player. I, I feel your pain. I wish I was a toss right now. I'm, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. One whole point. Great. <laughs> so you go down to two. Yeah, so... Um, I feel great about that. So, combat's over here now? Um, yeah. I'll charge, you got one pistol. Uh, I have one dice over here. That's right! Oh yeah! God's been charging. 
so I will need to look up my attacks. I think I'll go with initiative 4, don't I? Yeah. I'm a better weapon skill than you. I'm assuming so. It's not going to matter because I've got 3 hits anyway. Alright, so my... I'm strength 4? Or 3? You're strength 4, so you mean not 3s. Uh, I do nothing. Yep, so I've got my commissar. What's your weapon skill? Uh, I don't know. 5, because you got a cool icon. <coughs> yes. Um, I'm weapon skill 5 with the commissar. So you're on 4s. One miss. And then I am strength 3. So 4s to wound. 3 saves. Lord Commissar! Oh, look at that! I rolled three ones just you, to make it up to you. You got triple ones as well. Yeah. Yahtzee! Um, I am con consolidate four inches onto the wreckage. And you control that objective, which means you actually got both of them back. Yeah! You can't take stuff from me. Well, I can. Joe, it's so but funny. But then you took it back. But then I want to take it back again. It's so funny because these actually look like Gene Steel Kilt. So, do I really get it? <laughs> do I? <laughs> So that is the end of my turn. I do get one point for retain my knowledge. I do get to go get three. Um, with first blood, that puts me up to three, and I will keep. I will keep kings there. Turn three, I have got assassinate the oppressors, which is kill a character and challenge. That's going to be hard. Uh, I've then got spread panic and confusion, which is cause a morale fear or pinning check. And behind enemy lines, which I should be able to get. Right, so the Primus is coming back on. It is a Primus. Primus Com and Metamorphs. Primus and Metamorphs are coming back on, but because of cult insurrection, I get D6 models back. So I need a 4+. plus. Okay, three, that's not bad. I'll, I'll gladly take three extra models. I know, 3d6 for your kill ambush. Because the Primus is attached. Oh. Oh. Right, so movement phase. Both squads there have pulled back into the shadows, as did the squad that was at the back here. Because it was, oh, was it here? Yeah, it was there. It was there. Basically, yeah. Uh, these guys didn't roll so well as you saw, so I put them there, setting them up to possibly make a charge. Next turn. So I've kind of got a plan. This Chimera is going to stay here and everything from inside of it is going to unload at this squad. Meanwhile, the Russ is hopefully going to do some damage to this squad. Maybe kill two of them. No. Hopefully. These guys have moved this way, looking to run, well, charge into these guys. Meanwhile, down here, this Chimera, as well as the Sentinel, is looking to take out this dragoon, Iron Strider. Iron Strider dragoon. Same thing. You always use the dragoons. I know. So I guess and that's why you. Obviously, use the dragoon. these guys are going to be charging here with two rock saws. Good luck. Good luck. I like I've taken. Good luck. Right. So, but before we do that, uh, the Gene Stealers moved ever so slightly, so the Patriarch is looking through there, and he is going to cast uh, and feeble on these guys. So I have two. Plus six, or do you want to re-roll that? Yeah, you can have it as a six. Cool. So, you can only cast two powers. And feeble. Iron arm. Might as well go for <laughs> iron arm, because then you're not going to hurt us as easy. But it's not really going to... And feeble on these guys. Well, five dice. Mm. I'll get it off on three. Mm. Smite. Goes off on two. Has he got adamantium will? Okay. No. No? No. So close. And what does smite do? <laughs> um, it's like strength four, it beat two. Uh, assault four. Assault four? Yeah. What's strength, strength four? It beat two. Yup. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, it's like your pitch up this skill might be really bad. So that's two hits, but then a wound on sixes. Nothing. First of all, because this guy didn't move. Loads of stuff's gonna fire out. Yeah. Seismic cannon is a two shots at range, less than range 12. Yeah, I'd say it'd be three, but uh, six is an AP one. Woo! One hit. One's dead. Oh, yeah. 
Because of Enfeeble. Are they fearless? Nope. I'll go to ground. Okay. Down. Then the bad news. Uh, grenade launcher. Hits. Through the wound. Wounds. Feels my armor. Yep. I've then got the multi -lars. Two hits. Two wounds. Three up. So kills another one. Then got the heavy ball there. All hit. Three. Threes. Two wounds. Fine. And then I should have three last guns within that fire range, probably. Yeah. And I miss. <laughs> Everything. Still, that's not bad. That wasn't bad at all. That was horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Next up. <gasps> <coughs> You're giving me your lurgy, mate. Next up, the Lehman Russ at these. So I'm not going to double you out. The Vanquisher. This is Vanquisher. Yeah. Hits. <laughs> Two multi melters. It's a wound. And then one last cannon. I mean, it's just not going well for these two. <laughs> for the the arc and the demon rest is not going well for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Action. I'm kind of glad I didn't go against Call. Fl flamers. No. No. No, because I want to charge him and challenge him. Uh, all right. However, I do have a couple of shots <coughs> down here. So the multi lads is within range of this. Oh no. One hit. Nothing. And then the uh, heavy bullet. Three hits. Um, Nothing. Yeah. Um, size and cannon can't reach, and neither can the. the guys inside can shoot at something else, though. Um, so they'll be within range of that one. But the size and be... cannon will only get the smaller shot, won't it? Yeah, it'll get, get the weaker one. But either way, a, a grenade launcher hits and does nothing. And what's the size of cannon? Strength 5, AP 4, heavy 4. What, at that range? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it'll be AP 1 and 6. So one hit. Wow, a glance. Yeah. Oh, I've got five. You've got five stuff. cover, yeah? Yay! Fair enough. And the guys inside of there could shoot at them, but I don't want them to run. <coughs> so, assault phase? Um, I've got a morale check over there. Oh, you do, you so, do. Um, the only ship of the breaches. I want to say seven. Is eight. Eight? Cool. Oh no. Oh, oh no! So you're still in the game. And you're above 25%, which means you rally on your normal leadership. Yay! So, these guys are going to charge. Well, I'll definitely overwatch. So, um, five shots? I will throw a crack grenade from the Commissar. Mm -hmm. And then four shots. Yep. Thank you, Commissar. And then rapid fire the last. And nothing. Oh my goodness. That's going to get them in, but you're in terrain. Yeah, but you've got blasting charges, so you ignore it. Do they count as assault grenades, like? Yep. I also issue a challenge. I accept. Cool. So my leader gets but, five. Uh, it, have you got another charge? Yes, yes. Sorry, I've got these ones. Um, I don't have a shooting attack. I didn't pay for it. Did I, sh I didn't shoot with him, did I? No, you can do it if you want. Okay. Bring it. Crack my side of him. Aha! That's what you guys were forgetting. Yep. Charge distance. Any shooting with him? <coughs> I've got no shooting attack. Doesn't he have a phosphor pistol? If you buy it, I didn't buy it. Ah. Didn't have the points. Oh! <laughs> they don't have fleet, so... Right. Uh, so yeah, just down healing. Five attacks on the Commissar. I will use the Bone Sword. Yep. Oh, that's all hitting. And you ruined me on threes. Oh, there's your squad dead. Well, he does have a five up invul. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh. oh. So he dies in one more. It's just. Are you still get a go before the rest? For my guy. Are you gonna make me roll sixteen dice? Yeah. I have faith. I uh, don't really. Oh look, I've got exactly sixteen dice. So I hit you on threes. Yeah, that was threes. 
Oh. Um, you have no AP. No. So you need to make six saves to stay alive. I'm, I'm confident. Never mind. That was four fails. No. It's behind enemy lines. Make a morale opinion of fear test. Which I failed. Oh, you did? So I get and one then point for that. Character in a challenge. Which I did there. And behind enemy lines, I've got one, two, three, four. How many points is that? Is that D3 for that? D3. For one. So I scored another three points. Yep. Sweet. Turn three falls due behind enemy lines, which he's got. Secure objective six, the gene stealers are on. And Kingslayer, so kill the Patriarch, which he um, you yeah. could do. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put Shroud's arm on. Yep. And then the Artemis is gonna do it, will not die. For, so I can try and get a win back in this guy. Yep. I'm not doing any Doctrine Imperatives because the Blister skill one is gonna harm these guys' weapon skill. And I don't need extra weapon skill because when they charge, they double, which will make them initiative 10. So. But you don't double your weapon skill, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, why am I dumb? Go so you that. might as well go for plus three weapon skill. Well, if I do that, that hurts my Iron Strider. Ah, it does. So it's more of, yeah, plus three weapon skill and a minus two from a blitz skill. Fair enough. Boss gets a wall, but I do have a full plus roll for my fire. <sighs> right, so movement. Phil is coming in for me. He's moving in for the kill. Meanwhile, over this side, all the way over here, calls stay where he is. Oh yeah. This guy rallied, so three inch movement snapshots, and they stay where they are to kill him. Meanwhile, that is going to kill that. Bye bye, Camera. Right, so shooting. Um, so I might as well snap fire it into that. Yep. Okay, and then call. Oh, I realise I should have had him for that, but never mind, I'll still shoot these then. Okay. One, two to win. No, you need to hit, which was... Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, is it Master Crafted? No. Are you sure? His power axe is Master Crafted. Ah. Um, and then these here wire. Yay! Well, at least it's a pen. Not firing. Not great. And then all the way over to the other side. What? Right over here. Right all the, the way over side. here. Um, auto cannon. Now I'm at bliss skill two. Into here. Big twin eight. There you go. Yeah. And then front armor is ten. Three to guns. Two pens. Nothing. It doesn't blow you up. So that's just you gone. But for forty points, they're fantastic. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely worth the 40 points on them. Uh, and then the storm will, uh, will fire into the... <laughs> One hit. Into who? Into the... Obviously I'm firing into them. The gene stealers. Yeah, and then that's a wound. Uh, can I have a dice? Here comes a four. Can I save? Oh yeah. Kill one more. That's alright. Hey, that's like I just realised I should have pulled them last turn. You should have. And should then have. charged out into call. So then I've got charges. Mm -hmm. This guy will charge into them. You've got no weapons that will harm me. In Overwatch, so I'm in. But you do go first. Initiative 10, yeah. Over there, the other one, the Camaro one, I'm in as well. Right, so do you want to do this one? Yeah, I just need to check how many attacks I've got. Right, so this guy's made it in, no Overwatch, of course. Hammer of Wrath first. Strength 5, that's a wound. That is a dead, dead person. Then I get 4 attacks, 3 base, 1 for charging. Hitting on 3s, because plus 3 weapon skill. Hitting on 3s, 6s uh, are Tesla. Hey, well, I missed 2. But them 2 hit, because of Tesla. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. Oh. And then I'm strength eight, so twos. There's and what AP is it? Um, a taser lance is AP dash. Oh, and your furthest way back is this guy. And now you pile in, see if you can rend me to death, you can do it. Three, t two, three attacks. Three attacks. You hit. You don't do anything. So, so you actually failed. That's a failure you should check. I'm pretty sure I get away because you're initiative four base or three. Um, 
and I'm initiative I'm four. initiative five base, and you're initiative four base. Pretty sure you're not five. Pretty sure you're. Oh three. no, I'm initiative three. Yep. Yeah. So I run. I was wow, two. twelve inches. That's gonna be like there. And then all the way on the other side with the Chimera. Uh, well, you get to consolidate here. Oh. Yay, where do I want to go? I'll go. Um, the Chimera side, hitting on threes. No Tesla though. Strength eight. So choose the guns. Three pens, we not open top, so it's just a wreck. So your dudes inside will need to take a pin and check. And they're fine. Fine, cool. Let's get um, them out. At the end of that, I only score behind enemy lines. And all the scars could get a six. Wow, super, super quick turn there, but let's see what the Gene Sealer cult can now do. Gene Sealer cult turn four. I've got ascendancy, I've got hold the line, and I've got supremacy. So ascendancy and supremacy, I really need to try and grab those. Hold the line is going to be difficult because there's a Ballastari that I can't get rid of. However, these two units are automatically coming back on the cult ambush table. These ones are coming back with an extra D6 model, so just don't roll a one. So those two models come back. Right, so these ones. A one and a four, that's not great. These ones, three and a four. And these ones, I haven't rolled a single six. <laughs> that's actually funny. Oh, they can double tap at least, but that's not that's not great. But at least I can like infiltrate under objectives and stuff now, which is class. Yeah. Right. So hold the lines not happening because I've got no way of killing this. This guy failed to rally, and he's moving back. But we have a little bit of a plan that's starting to eat into things. This guy is hopefully going to take out the dragoon here. These guys call ambushed here to control this objective for me because everybody else is moving out. The Patriarch is ushering everybody after call. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Meanwhile, I've got another unit of acolytes down there controlling that objective. So because I've got that one and I have this one and that one up there, that's twice as many as my field controls because he only controls this one. So I'm going to get ascendancy and supremacy regardless. But it's what can I do and can I kill call? So psychic phase, I've got two dice plus two. So I'm going to go and feeble on call. And I get it on two. Stopped on one. No, I don't stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sorry, I, I know what I meant. Right, so down here, these three front flamer guys can all hit call, but two of them actually hit the breacher. So, sixes on the breacher, nothing. Yeah. And then three on call, needing sixes because he's down to toughness five. Nothing. Yeah. It's worth a shot though. Right, we've got five auto pistols there, <coughs> and one from the guy there. So, I'm just going to pull these together. So that's a couple of hits actually. And sixes. Still needing sixes. One. So two up. Fire enough. Right. Hmm. Two flamers will hit him from there. Nothing. And then. I saw the six as well. I know a needle pistol from the Primus. Hits. Two plus poison. It's a wound. I'm good. Right. Lehman Russ. Chuck the last cannon with the multi melters. In fact, I'll also chuck the thing because I'm wounding on twos on everything. So, nothing. Oh, one hit. One wound at AP one or two makes no difference. Cover. Fill up in. Re rollable. Oh. oh, I did a wound. How many wounds does he have? He has five. I'm down four? Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. Two grenade launchers. One hit. Three to win. Threes now. This is what. Oh, no. Seismic cannon. Two shots. Two shots. Never Both miss. miss. And then. Seasons. How many? So seven. Seven times two, so it'll be 14. Five, six, seven. Hitting on fours. 
two. Cool. That wasn't as... Even at Toughness 5, he's a beast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, I believe I know some charges to make. Yeah. They go first. I do. Uh, cool. Well, they shot a call, so yeah, they're going to have to go into him. D3. One hit, two to wound. It's just one dead. Mm-hmm. And I don't have any other shooting attacks, so... Six inches might make it. Right, so the Gene Steelers need an 11 inch charge because those guys unfortunately needed seven to make it. So 11 inch for fleet. Come on, need a six. Nope, so they don't even make it. Not what I want, not what I want. Those guys are gonna have to charge now. And six inches will get them in, but this is gonna be hard. And finally, these guys. That's not going to make it. Yeah, so one out of four charges made. That's not what I wanted. Right, so, only making one charge. Not what I wanted. Ah. Phil gets to go first, though, because he's got the Mackendrite and uh, Nana harness. Make a Hendrite hive. I've got my data spike first. Weapon skill five, set so you on fours. And then uh, it's strength user, which I'm strength fives, or threes, twos even. Oh. And then I'm 2d6 on the Mecha Hendrites. Oh, Ten. yeah. So, these are strength four. Get, yep, hitting you on fours. What weapon skill is he? Weapon skill five. Mm -hmm. And then strength four when you're on threes. Oh, just Only two. two. It's AP dash. Kill two guys. Yeah. Right. This is what I would now like to ask Phil. You are initiative seven. I am. Apart from the Primus, he's initiative four, which will go at the same time as my arc search. No, it won't, because he's initiative three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Don't mind. Right. Rendon claws on the other guys, so that's four attacks each. No, it's not, because he's got... They are metamorphs, and you're, I'm tough as five, so you'd be wounded on fives, and just be for being equipped with a whip, you're initiative seven. So, but would you use the bone sword? Because if I get a six, if I get a six, yeah, and then you get a one, he's dead. Yeah. Or would you go for the rending claws? Because then would, you've got a five up, five up rerollable. You've got more of a chance to kill me with the instant death. Right. In my opinion. So I get five attacks from him on the charge. Weapon skill five, so I hit you on fours. But I've got hatred. Yep. So hatred's reroll all, isn't it? Yep. So that's four hits. Needing a six. Five's the wound though, because I'm toughness five now, and you're strength four. Yep. Two up, saves. Makes them both. Yeah, bet you one of them sixes. And then the other guy's going to have to go with rending claws. Yep. Reroll that one and three. Getting all four. Looking for fives. Looking for fives. Get just one, one rend. That's a rend, so I've got my invul. Which you pass? Yep. Right, so I'm hitting, what weapon skill is it? Uh, I presume I hit you on threes. His weapon skill is fives, hit me on fours. Oh! You have hatred. Get okay, so that's three hits. You're winning me on fives. Is it just strength user, is it? Oh, wait, your void eye might actually add a strength to you. Uh, let me check that for you. Yeah, that's a strength. So you are strength fives, you're winning me on fours. Sixes are instant death. Oh! I got one wound do, 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 so, and two instant death wounds. So do the single wound first. <gasps> Feel no pain. And then two instant deaths. So, uh, two up. Oh, so should, close. Should, told, should have told me you did instant deaths first. <laughs> right, so we think we're doing this right. Yeah. He's going to swing with a power axe, so you're plus one. Hit on fours. And then I'm strength... Five base, plus one for the axe. Yeah, so strength six. So... Choose. Oh. Oh. So one dies. Which means... Which you've, you'll probably want the normal one. Yeah. Which means you've killed three. And you did nothing. Because I was in shooting and I lost that win. So you fail. Surprisingly. Fearless. Yeah. Yeah. That's his chest. See, I'm remembering. Yep.
Castle still got Kingslayer. He's got Secure Objective 4 and Secure Objective 6. Uh, where's 4 and 6? Six? 6 is in the building. 4 is where my Iron Strider is. Over there, which he's obviously moved to get. And of course, this Dragoon has moved down here. For Canticles and Doctrines, he has gone for rerolls to hit of a 1 in close combat, which is pretty good. Hmm. You need all the attacks you can get to get out of that combat. And you've gone for plus two weapon skill for your Skitari. I'm going to heal D3 wounds. Oh, look, you got three back. And then um, my Black Star came on because it's turn four. Yep. And he's got a bomb that he drops on these guys, which is strength five, AP four, blast, ignores cover. So I'll put it there and get four. Yep. And then all these guys, 1D6. So three. Huh? Yeah, one inch. Oh, right. I thought you said three, and I was like, what? Yeah, so it'll move and still and only get three. Yeah. So that's three, and this will kill on twos. Three. So a large blast firing from the Corvus? Yep. What's this called? Um, the Black Star Rocket Launcher. Cool, so this is strength six AP4. Yeah, strength four AP5. Ah, okay. Hey! So it hits. So do I get all five, though? Uh, I would say four. Sure? Oh yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, all four. And I ruined them on fours. Two wounds. Close, closest is this guy. Look out, sir. Oh, well, five have been run and then I'll automatically pass me look out, sir. So, two yeah. five ups. So, one dies. One dies. And then I've got the twin linked assault cannon. In on threes. Wounded on twos. Three? Yep, just three. Look out, sir. Five up in one. So you're left with one gene stealer. Yep. And uh, now the torsion cannon <laughs> isn't snap firing anymore. Uh, thank you, torsion cannon. And then the arc rifles at the uh, Lindros. Way. One miss. I just need one. Yeah, so it's just a wreck. Yep. And then all the way <coughs> over. The other side, yeah, we have the drop pod that'll fire at the gene stealers. Can't <laughs> see that last gene stealer, no, but you can't can kill it. Yeah, but you still got Sarah at the closest uh, model. I hit once, I don't win. This guy, um, will fire it. The running away guy, and yeah, it can four kills him. You've got what? Oh, this dragoon into this, okay, so overwatch. Yeah. And the guys inside? Yep. Seismic cannon? Nope. Grenade launcher? Nope. I'm in. Hammer of Wrath against the front wait, armor. Wait, wait. Don't make me. I've got a Dragoon on the side. I know, and let's, we'll do this. I know it's slightly out of sync. Hammer Wrath! Front armor, I couldn't even harm it. Oh yeah. Front armor 12. I need, really? to, get, I need to get some dice. Ah! Yep. Hitting on uh, threes. Two sixes. Wow, so you need two more dice. Yeah. Strength eight. Twos. And it's a wreck. Mm -hmm. I can't blow it up, so it's just a wreck. But I'm a pinned. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. And then, um, oh no, no, you're not. <laughs> so these guys are now going to jump out. Right, so those guys have leapt out. Maybe need a bunch of just a little bit more. Uh, those guys actually <coughs> ran because of that horrible bomb. Uh, meanwhile, you've got more charges. Yep, so you've oh. got your seismic cannon. Yep. Hit Boom. Once. That'd be strength eight, it'd be three. Just a glance. Five up? No, so I take the whole point. Two grenade launchers. Two grenade launchers. <gasps> oh! No! Oh. And then, again. <sighs> Hammer of Wrath. We do on a two. <laughs> Four attacks. Hey. Oh! Extra four hits. Strength eight. Twos. You, it is AP dash, so there is seven wounds. Five up. So Two, three, four die. four die. Plus this is a seismic cannon and a grenade launcher as well. Sad times. Rookie mistake there by me. So morale is, what leadership are they normally? Um, seven? Eight, because they're veterans. Oh no, they're just, they're just neophytes. 
I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so the leadership seven. Yeah. So that means I run. <coughs> yep. Hey, look, I ran them down. Yeah. A consolidation. Two inches. I'll just move my S. Meanwhile, we've got this yep. to do. So we've got coal. So I've got my data spike. Uh, initiative ten. It hits. It wins. I'll take on the Primus. All right. So he's fine. fine. I now get the Mechahendrak drive. I've got nine. Two on fours. Reroll them ones. Reroll them ones. Oh, oh. So three miss there. Oh, four miss. Strength four. Strength four. Threes. That one's cocked. Three. Three wounds. All on the Primus? No, one at a time. Primus. He's down to two. Primus. He's down to one. Other guy. The other guy's gone. And you get attack me back. With the Primus with... You've got four attacks. Four attacks. Fours. Reroll. Yeah, reroll. Why? Because you got hatred. That doesn't last every turn, does it? It. Yeah, I do believe so. If not, you missed anyway. And then... I'm still on feeble, but that doesn't harm me. Yep, so then I hit you back with my power axe, with master crafted, and then twos, which I don't think you've got an invul. And. Core! Consolidation! So, you score? Um, I didn't get Kingslayer. I didn't go to J6, but my Iron Strider, the boy, the man, the legend, got objective 4. Well, hey! I'll discard it. Turn 5 for the cult, we've drew Harness the Warp, Domination, and Psychological Warfare. Them two are going to be hard to do. Harness the Warp, I should be able to do. So, there's not a lot. It's very, very quick turns now. These two guys are still running. These guys down here are going to shoot everything they've got into that Dragoon. There's nothing I can do about this drop pod or this Iron Strider. Meanwhile, down here, everything is going now for Call. I really, really need to take him down. I've got nothing left to kind of deal with these, so I think with Gene Seal Cult, especially when you get the cut, like sort of the last couple of turns, I think not getting as many charges off there really hurt me. Um, not dealing with the Iron Striders at this side, again, really, really hurt me. Um, is going after Call a bad idea? Yes. He's a tough cookie. Yeah, he is. I would say kill everything else. I can't win a game with just Call. You can't. But you've also got three Iron Striders running around. But that's not. But I want to kill business. Call. But that's none of my business. No, I'm going to go for Call. I need to go for Call. Psychic phase, two plus three. Hmm. You want iron arm? Got shred anyway though. And you want iron arm? Wound me more. I know Brock can wound wound. Uh, the other only strength three aren't there, so I'm six you anyway. Feebly, you'll wound me on twos. If you go for iron arm, you'll wound me on twos, and I'll be harder to wound you. I know. Get it on two. Oh, you were Oh, so close. Only I had adamantium wheel. Wouldn't have helped because I wasn't targeting you. Oh, gosh, no. Right. <coughs> so, I do get harness walk because I get one power off. But now it's shooting phase. And I've got very, very little. We've got a couple of squads over there. So, seismic cannon at your Dragoon. One hit. One pen? Strength hit. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. grenade launchers. Two grenade launchers. Nothing. <coughs> right. So down there, I reckon what? Uh, three or four auto pistols. Yep. Uh, five because of him, and then three flamer hits. Three flamers, one. yeah. So three flamers needing sixes. Wow, two. Oh. Oh. Fill up in. Ah. And then how many auto pistols? Five all together. Five all together. Nothing. Right, charges. Those guys are going first because they've got full cover. D6. 
three shots. Two. Then sixes. One hit. One wind. One dies. Charge distance for them. Nine. They make it in. Next up is the Patriarch. With three. But he's going to re-roll. Four. Six. Get him in. And then we've got the other unit. Can the other unit get in? I don't know. Low fit. Because you'll be going past him. I'm going to say no. Yeah. Mmm. Because you have to go over his base to get in. Yeah, I should have shot I should have shot them at him and charged him. Yeah. Never mind. Excuse my units. Right, so. Macanderite Hive. Um, so the data spike, I'm obviously doing this on the Patriarch. A hit. A wound. Yep. Mm, Patriarch will take this on a 4+. plus. Saves it. And then... 2d6 Macanderite yep. Hive. Uh, I'll put this on them. On the meta, the things. Yeah. Acolytes. Metamorphs. That was five. And then fours. Oh, that's not good. And then threes. Two wounds. Two wounds, two five ups. Save one, fail one. Um, and claw or whip. The claw will still be gone before me. And you probably want the strength. Yeah, kill the whip. So, first up, I believe we're going to have the Patriarch. Yeah. Initiative 7. Yeah. He has 4 tax base. He'd be strength 9. Yeah, but 4 tax base. Plus 1 for charging, so. 5. 5 tax. Hitting on 3s. I don't have preferred enemy or anything. You do? You know? I do, because of the gene seals. Yeah. Oh. You're right. And so, then... I wound you on 2s because of iron arm. Yeah. Rerun because of shred and preferred enemy. And then 6s will go to my armor. So that, that's still four wounds. So two up armor saves. Fail two, fail no pain. Reroll for my warlord trait. And I take one wound. There are four attacks from the familiars. Reroll the one. Two hits. Uh, strength four, so that's two wounds. I am toughness six. six. So yeah, it doesn't wound. So Sorry, I'm. And then the gene steel goes next with four attacks. Five. Four. I've got oh, yeah, towns. Got towns, yeah. I paid the points for them. We wow! We won the ones. And that doesn't hit, does it? It does, because we went to skill six. So there's three hits. Needing sixes, come on! Needing sixes. Needing fives, actually. Well, there's one wound. Because Fury's charge. And I'm fine. And then you got you got two claws. Actually, this guy goes first. This guy should have went before your gene still, actually, because it would have been an initial seven. Oh, with the whip with the... Yep, so you get five attacks. It's on fours. <laughs> this is weapon skill 5 that is no wound and then the two claws so that's 8 attacks yep 8 attacks uh, no. one more yeah 8 attacks 4 each and then they hit on 4s uh, and then they wound on 4s you got a 6 strength 4 normally plus but 2 st strength plus, two, plus two, 2 and then plus oh no you don't get through this charge so yeah you wound me on 4s um, but does one's that count as a rend? Yep, one's so a rend. Two wounds, one's a rend. So normal one, I'm fine. And then the rend one, my invul, yeah, I'm fine. Wow! And then I've got my three um, power axe onto the Patriarch, hitting you on fours, and then wounding you on sixes. Majority toughness. Nope, nothing. Um, tied combat. We lost one each. Mm-hmm. Call. I'm fearless anyway. Call. So, uh, psychological warfare. I don't think I got that. Did I? <coughs> no. No. Uh, domination. No. How much? What I did get for one more point. I'm going to discard domination. Okay. Turn five for essentially the admech. D three wounds. Hey, look! I'm back to full strength. He's an animal to take out. Everything you worked for, everything you built, will fall. And from the ashes of your world, we will build a better one. Said Cole. <laughs> Said no one ever. So, <laughs> anyway, Canicles of the Omnissiah, you've chosen to add one to your strength, because I've got iron arms, so you yeah. trying to wound is easier. I think, I think that's the wisest choice. 
Right, so you've got Kingslayer and Assassinate, so I'm guessing you're going to be challenging. I'm no prisoners, but what, what's the best thing is, if I kill these three, the Gene Stealer and him, I get the D3 from your prisoners. But if I kill the unit in your deployment zone, the unit here in mine, and the unit that's running away, I will get the D3 plus 3 and table you. I actually didn't think I would come back from this, but now you can see that if you can survive long enough, the Gene Circle will fall. Mm -hmm. So... We'll see. We'll see what happens. So yeah, they're probably going to die to everything that's on them, and then you're probably going to overrun us. Yeah. These guys are going to get shot, and they're probably charged by that guy, mm -hmm. because even with your normal attacks, you're probably going to kill us. Well, yeah, if you don't pass your morale test, and I make an end of combat, you're instantly destroyed. Yeah. So, just that alone. Him this, down there is not going to basically kill them. This, is, this would be the hardest one, I think. Yeah. Because um, I, feel, I feel quite positive about that combat. You've got this combat here, but then these guys are going to shoot at them, which you're probably going to at least make them run away, because if I'm running, I can't just destroy at the end of the game. Yeah. So you basically need to do your damage and hope the game ends. Yeah. Right. So, Shooting, then. Shooting. Um, I'll start with this one over here. My, uh, my drop pod will shoot them. Yep. Because the drop pod will have the glory. Oh, he will. Yeah, he wins once. Kills one. And then the Iron Strider. It's Twin links. Once, it's twice, runes twice. Kill them. Yep. No shooting with this guy. Over here at the top, we've got my um, my training to salt cannon. Actually, oh, I've already started rolling. Um, so that's hit four times. Mm -hmm. And wins on twos. There's four wounds. Got cover save. That's three die. Yep. That your leader is first, which might look out to them. Yes. No. Oh, yeah. All of them. Okay, and then I do have... Um, oh, you know, I shouldn't I shouldn't let you kill him because then you wouldn't have been able to see the other one. I would do the D6. He can still see. Oh, fair um, enough. From, from the Black Star Rocket launcher. Um, I'll do the D6 strength 6, 8, B4. Two. Hits on threes. Oh, wounds on two. That's another save. Got to, got to? No, because nope. the leader. So he's going to need morale. Yeah, I've got nothing more to shoot at him. Passes. Passes. Um, down here, the arc rifles will fire at the four man unit. Six of cover? Yeah. It's like a fence, isn't it? One hit. That's one wound. Strength six. Ah, oh, so that's one dead. That's enough to force morale, though. Yeah, I hope they pass it so that I could get in that charge. I, I'm a little bit worried about the bone sword though, but I feel like I need. I just need him. I need him. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So is that it for shooting? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm guessing he's going in there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So well, morale on here, them. Actually, actually. Oh yeah. Um, I think that's a fail. It is. Yeah. Nine inches. No charge for these breaches. But they're running. Yeah. Um. So over here, I've got two charges. So my. Uh, Breacher is in, and then my Doom Strider is also in. Hammer of Wrath? Uh, well, the other one on the other side against the Neophytes. Ah, so. Um, You've got your seismic cannon, two shots. One hit. Oh, oh two yes. grenade launches. Nothing. The amount of times I've hit on Overwatch with that. And then I'm in as well. Right, so um, Hammer of Wrath on these, these guys down here. Wounds? Saves. Yeah. And then my taser. What? Uh, you're that? getting the two. You're getting two sixes every time. Yep. And then twos. No, you hit first. Oh, yeah. oh that no, was no, it. No, was a hit. Yeah. So there's five saves. AP dash. It's five dead. So I'm leadership three. Whoa! No. <laughs> Holy hell! Did not expect that, mate. So, yeah, three guys will go in and do nothing. Do you like those little shotguns? Um, over here, my hammer wrath. Mm -hmm. um, Strength five, toughness four, wounds? Yeah. No, oh, wait, it's majority toughness. Yeah, I so was it doesn't wondering wound. that, but I don't know whether it just hit no. one in base contact. Or not. It does, but it's majority toughness of the squad. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't get him, and then I've got. So, initiative ten. I've got call. Da data spike. Hits. Wounds on a six. Because I'm doing it on that unit. And then the Mega Hendrike drive will go on these because it can't harm. Hive, not drive. Yeah, okay. 
and then um, wound uh, hits twice, and then wounds none, no times. So then don't you add one to your strength? Oh yeah, so that's that's two wins then. Oh, you rolled twos though, didn't you? Yeah. Toughness three. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so two. Kills two. Yeah. I'm assuming you want to keep the bone sword alive. Yep. And then it's now your patriarch with four attacks. Yeah. I'm assuming it's against Cole. Oh yeah. So that's one. That's one hit. Two. Oh, two hits even, yeah. And then twos. Two wounds. And I'm fine. And then your gene stealer. Oh no, then it's this guy. Four attacks. His initiative seven. Hit on fours. So three hit. And one wound? No. Toughness six, so no, no wounds. And then your gene stealer, gene stealer goes at the same time as my dragoon. I'm um, assuming it's still in a call, right? Yep. Yep. And then sixes. None. And if you don't mind, I totally forgot the familiars. Oh, yep. Yeah. Sure, do the familiars. Uh, preferred enemy. And then sixes. One. Um, Invil. I'm good. And then the dune. The dragoon. Um, I got another six there. Um, I don't think I get this. I am plus one weapon skill. Oh, sorry. They don't run. Fearless within 12. Oh, yeah. So you can charge them. Yeah. Um, I'll finish this off. So twos. I oh, not fours even. So there's two wounds. On the Patriarch? Yeah, Patriarch unit. Five up in run on the... Yep. Gene oh. Sealer. Five up in run on the Gene Sealer. Yeah. Kills the Gene Sealer. So the Patriarch's left, but that means no more preferred enemy. But Cole will use his Power Axe. Ooh, onto the Patriarch. I, win, I hit win him on five, so I think it's a wise idea. Hits him on fours. And with Mastercrafted. Nope. And then wins him on fives. No save. Yep. No one to look out to, so he's down to two. No, he's down to one because he lost one earlier in the game. Sweet. And then it's my uh, my breacher. And look at the watch. The breacher will end him, and it will be funny. No, it will not be funny because he has a hydraulic claw. I think. He has one attack. Two for charging. Two for charging. He, uh, I think it's just a normal arc claw because I think you have to pay for the hydraulic one, and I don't. I didn't pay for it. So. Um, yeah, it's not. It's just an arc one. Yeah. So the arc, I am weapon skill three, and your weapon skill seven. So I hit you on fives. Yep. Which I don't. And then do you want to charge here? Yeah. Uh, so wait, because I do have uh, auto pistols. Yep. Nothing. And then you just roll an eight. Yeah, roll an eight there. So, so that's gonna get you in, but you're going through cover. Yeah. Oh, I was going last anyway. Well. Yeah. So me leader four attacks. Uh, hits with three. Times. three. Strength four, you took us five, so I wound you on fives. That One dies. Death. And then these guys. Well, that guy goes last. So we will do. Okay. So it's just your normal dude. Uh, he has four ta three. Five. Three. Oh no, four. Four. Yeah, four attacks in total. No, two base plus one for two weapons. All right. Yeah. All right. Needing fives. Yep. One wound, one save, and I'm fine. And then I attack you. I cause them wieldy. Uh, I think that I draw a claw, is that? No, just merely here, why I put some strength. So I hit you on fours, and then I wound you on twos and some death. Two. What strength is it? It's, I'm strength five standard, and our claws are plus one strength. And what AP is it? Five, so that's just two death. Oh. So you actually did two wins to me and I did two wins Well to he me. would have been further back there, so he's not gonna attack. I'll kill me leader. Yep. Now he'll attack with two. Uh, uh yeah. It's once, two to wound. That's just a win. Doesn't insta kill me. But you did three wounds. Fearless! And I only did two, so I actually failed. And I failed my leadership check. Oh! <laughs> I believe I'm initiative four and you're initiative three. Yeah, you just ran me down. Yes! Oh my word! Wow, well, alright. <laughs> Consolidate two inches. To there. Oh. Interesting turn. But does the game continue? Right, so I've got like three models. Three models. And then one at the back. And one way over there. I, I considering going into turn four, I was like, yeah, I'm going to smash him, I'm going to... Core. 
Cool. He drew so much power. He drew the like the entire army in, and I think it's definitely a big mistake going after him. Mm. Even with Cult, with instant death and rending. Well, I feel like if you had 20 gene stealers, yeah. it would have done a damage. It would have done the damage. Right, does the game continue, though? It yeah. does. Turn six. Right, so Phil did actually score uh, Assassinate and No Prisoners for killing these <coughs> two guys there, because the leader was still alive. He's keeping Kingslayer because, yeah, well, this is going to happen. He'll die. Yeah, so let's see what the cult can do in turn six. They ain't getting out of there, are they? No. They right, so cult turn six, I've got Spring the Trap, which is have units arrive using cult ambush, which I can't do. Blood and Guts, kill something in your phase, and Psychological Warfare. Oh! Didn't I score that last turn? No, I did it in your turn. Yeah. Ah, damn. Yeah. So anyway, this guy has moved and ran. Uh, I need to move this guy over here. Um, Phil, would you kindly hide him behind the red container? Why? Oh, actually, Buzzsaw. Can the Buzzsaw instant death? No. Uh, I could do that. Yeah, move him around there. Oh. <gasps> you didn't see anything. Anyway. Oh, look what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Right, so, Psychic Phase, 2 plus 6. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. You put all 8 and 9 on. No. <coughs> Iron Arm is only warp charge 1. Iron Arm. I only get it on 1! 6 dice? No! <laughs> wow! And Feeble on call. <coughs> I get it! On two! Damn. Oh, this could now make a difference. Damn, Danny. Anyway, um, yeah, so that lone guy with the buzzsaw is going to charge the Dragoon. Alright. Ten, makes it in. Right, so, order down there. Patriarch first, I believe? Um, no. Make it oh, no, no, no. Crap. So, I'll put the, the data spike onto the Patriarch. No. And then the 2d6 onto... Deep bull. Oh no, because he's in base contact, so I'll have to do it on him. Ooh. So hang on, you're doing the mech and dry hive on the other guy? Yeah, because I can't touch him because I'm in base contact with him, so I can't move to touch him. But you could kill the Patriarch. I can't harm him, because it's strength 4 against tough as 8. Ah. So, uh, four's to hit. Wow, alright, thanks. And then three's to wound. One wound. Magic. No! Oh yeah, he's dead. Well, it would have been two because I still got plus one strength, don't I? Um. Yes. Yeah. So Patriot next. Uh, don't have preferred enemy now. One rend, two wounds. Um. So the two wounds, and the feeling up here, and then my invul, and I'm fine. Oh, you, what? You familiars? Call! Call! There's uh, three. And then these sixes. Two! Well, that you need fives, but. Invul. Fill up in. What?! <laughs> oh my word! The Dragoon is next, and he's in base contact with this, so he has to attack that. Um, so he's going to get. Yeah, strength. I shouldn't have charged him in, I think I should. Only one hit. Two to win, though. Strength seven. It's a wound. Oh! Saved by the uh, other box. This now? To hit? No, misses. And Felis? Oh, yeah. The bustle. Oh, yes. You three attacks. Three attacks. Oh. You're hitting me on fours. No, threes, because you're on skill five. Two hit. Armor bin? Yep. So, one. Strength eight, so. That goes pen. through. And two. Then, yep. So eight. Two blow me up. Six, yeah. Uh, so two pens. AP2, is it? AP2. And I'm open top. Oh, uh, boom, 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 boom. So, error? Two inches. So, I'm going to get myself, call, and the Patriarch. Yeah. So, on call. No wound. Don't wound. So, do you want to wound on myself? Three to wound on your dude. And it wounds. On this dude. Oh, he and he dies. dies. And then, it can't harm him. Because it's only strength four. It is. 
Holy... And now it's caused Power Axe. Oh, God. Hitting you on fours with Master Crafted. Okay, that's just one. And then wound you, your toughness. Eight. I am now strength. Does not feeble seven. lower your strength? No, it lowers my toughness. Right. So I wound you on a five. Nope, nothing. And then we've got the Dragoon over the other side. Yep. Um, to hit. Nice little extra dice there. And then twos. So that's four saves. You need to pass at least two of these. Which you do. So that's one guy left. So I lose by one. And I pass me morale. Yay. Right. My turn. Uh, I don't score. Yes, I do. I score blood and guts. Oh. That's class. I'll get another point. Uh, I'll discard psychological warfare because that's nigh on impossible. Oh, oh, it wouldn't have made a difference. I was going to say he needs to take a fear check, but he's hitting us on fives anyway, so it makes no difference. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I'll I'll actually discard spring the trap because I can't get it at all now. Okay. Um, what have you drawn, by the way? Big game hunter. Big game hunter and ascendancy. Well, ascendancy is going to be yours because um, you're going to control one. I'm not worried about controlling anymore. This guy's gonna hover. Mm-hmm. Can it see? Nope. So I will just move 12 and, and stop that. Hang on. You, it's a fast skimmer. Oh. It counts as a fast skimmer, so you can still fire. All right, then. You still fire just, two things. I'll just move 12 then. And then, um... And this iron spider <coughs> that's literally doing nothing. Um, Can't do anything because there's nothing else to do unless you want to move that way and try and kill one guy. Where's the one guy? In contact with the Balistari. Yeah, there's no, there's no point. Uh, I'm just going to move nine inches to come and join this combat if it moves on to the next one. So he's going to move nine inches there and then he'll run. And then... Shooting? Yeah. So, assault cannon? Yeah. Oh, then to an inch. So, three hit. Yeah. And twos? Yeah. Two wounds. Five up. Dead. Guys. And then, we go to combat. I'll start with this one, the one with the one guy. Yeah. So, three attacks. Uh, one missed, but for Tesla, I get two. Wait, why are you hitting me on threes? So I've got a higher weapon skill than you? No, yes. Yeah. And then twos. There's... I've got this. Four wins. I've got this. Don't you worry. Watch Imagine this. Imagine if you do. <laughs> no. no. So he dies, and then I consolidate for three inches. Uh, probably do just this way as well. Try and come and join the fight. This is down the wire. I have one model left with one wound left. So I activated Litany of the Electromancer. Mm -hmm. So I get one strength for it attack but your initiative your toughness eight so it doesn't matter so the data spike misses and i can't use the mega hendrite eyes because it's strength four and your toughness eight so you don't hurt us no i can't hurt you so basically i have to kill you with four attacks which i can't do <laughs> and then hope that your axe doesn't kill us yeah i needed that to wound three wounds i feel one feel no pain i'm fine and then you familiars? <coughs> yep, four attacks from there. Three hits. Sixes. One rend. Nope, I didn't fill up him. I'm fine. Holy crap. And then this guy with his R-core hits, and then it needs a sixth wound. No wound. And then call with his three power axes. Call with his power axes. And master then crafted. Master crafted. Nope. One hit. And then this is No, 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 no. Oh, so close! So, tight combat. <laughs> Turn six over. That quick. Turn seven. Oh, wait, did I score anything? No. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, no! <laughs> so, it is just straight into the combat. Not what I want. Iron arm. <laughs> you got one wound as well. Ah! You got one wound as well. Oh. If you roll, what is it? 
What? 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 It, it was on camera. Everyone saw it. What was it? Pass me the rule book. I don't have the rule book on me right now. What was hold, it? Hold, hold the camera. What hold. was it? Oh, oh, oh my! Did you just kill yourself? I, I... Did you just kill yourself? <laughs> you didn't even give me the glory. Please tell me you didn't, though. Pass the camera back. Yeah. Did you roll like a two or something? Right, so you guys all saw what I rolled. Ah. Uh, One wound on glancing hit with no saves of any kind allowed. In addition, roll a d3. If it's currently the psychic phase, both players lose the warp charge. So I am tabled by rolling a Yahtzee. Cool. What cool. an amazing comeback. I pulled it out. Do you know what? Even with all of that, I cannot believe I didn't do more than a single wound. Cool. This uh, guy is a beast. And... Like a... You, you haven't even sent him after vehicles yet. Yeah. Not really. He's un... Unless, you hit, unless you're hitting him with a dreadnought <coughs> force on. Well, he has been alive for like 10,000 years. So. And the rest. Yeah. Because he, he, technically, even strength D isn't killing him, because, unless you roll a 6. Yeah. D isn't killing him because you've got the 5 up in run for D3 wounds apiece. Mm. What? Wow. What a game. I genuinely, going into turn 4, I was like, right, I've got this. Mm. I've got it. And just, you drew everything over there with Call and the Breaches and the Destroyers. And despite having the Rus, the Chimera, the Squad of Neophytes, three or four units of Acolytes, the Primus, and the Gene Stealers, just couldn't kill him. Mm. Couldn't kill him. And then the Ballastaris ro running around at this side, just, wow, they were, they were so hard to deal with. But I did really, really enjoy the player style. <coughs> that was like the first time doing like an Imperium mix match, and when seeing a. Uh that the Grand Convocation could take Asimil Terum, I feel like I, I might do it. Then. Grand Obviously. Convocation is definitely the way to go because then, then stick him in the middle of a load of Lehman Russ and you've got but, Power the Machine Spirit on and him. And then I, it's just that this guy's just a beast alone, let alone without Celestine. I mean, I mean, I mean. I know, I know. That was a really good game. I, I really, really I enjoyed that. <laughs> Uh, and Slither Warlord. Um, so that's two. How many points did you actually score, by the way? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus first blood. Nine. So I got I don't have one, blood. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I was leading on points, definitely. Yeah. I feel for Maelstrom games, they're phenomenal. But yeah. I definitely agree with you. By the, I, I think your reserves coming in later in the game actually helped you. Yeah, thank you. No, I gen <laughs> genuinely, I think if the if this had came in a turn earlier or two, it'd have been a totally different game. Mm. Um, but the Iron Striders coming in and... That, this uh, formation was at the minimum it could be. Um, and I feel like if it just had like one more in each one of these Dragoon squads, they would have... Finished out earlier. Three units of two, uh, definitely. And then uh, didn't have it earlier. This guy was all right by himself with just the shooting, but say I, the, him and the flyer were the only anti air because this is Cognus, um, Snap Fires of Bliss Skill 5, well, yep. Bliss Skill 2 even. Yeah. So it's like you could just take this formation, make this two, make them two, make the other one two, and you don't even need to bring a flyer. Heck, you don't even need to make your Niggers anti air. No. So, uh, and everything was good co uh, formation. <coughs> and you're rolling on it in turn one. Yeah. Get it there sooner. So it was really good. This Holy Requisitioner was really good. Um, because I'm not worried about scattering. It allowed me to get in a good position wherever I wanted. So it was, it was definitely really good. Um, the Death Watch did really well for how much I brought. The Flyer saved me the game. Um... These guys took a lot of gene stealers out, and I think it would have been a wiser choice if Harry pulled his gene stealers off. Totally agree. And brought them back with him. Um, I totally agree, because they, they were kind of stuck there for about two turns, not doing anything. And I think if I'd pulled them, brought them back with D6 extra gene stealers, and then if I'd rolled a 6, 
Yeah, and um, we forgot to link with the Lehman Russ uh, when it was snap firing and stuff that on a full plus would actually ignore it. I thought that was just the chimeras. Uh, I think it's everything, but. Um, the Sentinels were worth the points. Definitely, definitely. I, th- um, I, I very much like the kind of tactics of jump in, kill, pull back out. Yeah. It, it, it's You've got to know the rules for this, and I think, having played them, I've got a much better idea of how they work. I think summoning that unit of 10 Acolytes at the beginning, that was key because it drew all your firepower. Yeah. Kind of like how you drew mine over here. Yeah. That's an amazing game, though, folks. Phil, thank you very much for showing us the army and how, the, how to well, play. Well, do you, you feel better that you know how to play it now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, I think once I get a couple more painted up, you'll definitely see a lot more of them on the channel. Need some rock grinders. Yeah. yeah. Some demo charges. Yep. That is, forward to that. That's the plan that's next. So, that's it, folks. We're going to bed because this game is filmed the night before the tournament, but you're probably going to see the tournament video before this goes up so if you haven't already watched the tournament video go and watch it help me help you yeah i'm dying yeah pray, f- pray. phil's pray. got phil's got laryngitis pray for phil <laughs> please donate below <laughs> pray for phil oh let's make 40k great again yeah i'm going to bed night 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 folks